Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Okay, check this now. See here, I am opening the QTP. Do you see everybody? Is it fast this time? Okay, yeah. Alright then. So we go to the automation over here and then we go to the record and run settings. Here we have the web based application and then we have taken a link over here which has lot of tables and then for the recording we got to click on record button. When we click on the record button and then the application is going to automatically open. Do you see here? Okay. So whatever we click on this application is also get recorded. Let's wait for this one to open. Alright. Okay. And here you can see the table. Let me maximize this one. And then I go to the QTP. I say insert checkpoint. Then standard checkpoint because table is nothing but this is a standard object. So I select the standard checkpoint. And then I can click anywhere within this table. Okay, so it, see it started, you know. Okay, this, this is, you know, one typical problem that we will be having, right? Luckily, that time it was executing, okay? I need to reopen the QTP now. Because sometimes, you know, the web application, it gets selected and sometimes it doesn't get selected, okay? go to the automation then we got to go to the record and run setting so here we have set everything right and then we click on ok button now we click on the record and then the application opens here and then I go to the insert checkpoint standard checkpoint Okay, I will show you if it gets executed, okay, because sometimes it doesn't select these objects as the web objects. It automatically selects as a Windows object. So let me check. Okay, see here. Now this time it is selecting. Previously, you know, all the objects on this application, it was identifying as a Windows object, okay. It might happen to you also because you are using a trial version, correct. It may not get recorded as a web application, but it may get recorded as a Windows application. Is this fast now? Everybody able to see my screen? Is this better than before? Yes? Okay. So now do you see here we have the browser and then a browser has a page. Then a page has a table that is salary. Within that there is another table called as yearly. Okay. Now I clicked on one of the cell or one of the data value that is present within this table. 
So that has got recorded here as a web element. But what do I want exactly? I want to put the checkpoint on the table. So I move one level up in the hierarchy and then I select the web table and then I click on OK button. Do you see the entire table is displayed over here? Do you see? The table that was present on the application is appearing over here. And now you click on OK button in order to add the table checkpoint. You want to see it again? Everybody, you want to see it again? Okay, web element is nothing but Ritu. Any element that is present on the website, okay? It could be anything. It could be a link. Okay, it could be a link or, you know, it could be any object that is present on this application, right? So, I go to the insert over here. Do you see? Checkpoint and then table is nothing but a standard checkpoint. So, I select it and then I can click anywhere within this table. So, do you see here? It has got selected. Select the table over here and then click OK. Do you see? We have only the salary and yearly month over here. Then click on it. Checkpoint is inserted. Now let's try to insert a page checkpoint. It is quite simple. Again go to the standard checkpoint. Click anywhere within the page. Okay, some web element is selected but we do not want the web element. We want the entire page. Okay, so select the page and then click on OK button. So these are the properties that will be checked in a page. The load time, number of images, number of links. These are the ones that will be checked. Okay, and then click on OK button. So, a checkpoint is inserted. We have now two table checkpoints and then one page checkpoint. Inserting a checkpoint on the page is nothing but a page checkpoint. Okay. Then after that, the last one we have is accessibility checkpoint. I will tell you, okay, what is this accessibility? I select it and then click anywhere within the page. The page gets selected. Click on OK. And these are the properties that are going to be checked. So we have the alt property, applet and all these. I click on OK and then it is inserted. OK. So what happened to QTP? Did I close it or it got closed automatically? I'm not sure. Okay, sometimes it behaves in a very, very weird way. That's why, you know, I have, like, have a license version over here. Even then, okay. Let me, you know, quickly record again. So, automation, run and record settings. Okay, everything is ready. I click on the record button. The application opens. And then I go to the insert checkpoint standard checkpoint click on the page and then table is selected click on ok again click on ok insert checkpoint this time a page checkpoint click anywhere within the page the page has to be selected click on ok then the load time number of images and number of links are getting selected click on ok button then again go to insert checkpoint Standard checkpoint, sorry, accessibility checkpoint. Click anywhere within the page and then click on OK button. So now stop the execution. Do you see here? We have three checkpoints. Okay, see, it is closing, okay. Even in the weekend, okay, when I was trying out this web application, it was behaving like this. And it was, you know, completely getting stuck. At least now it is only getting closed. Anyways, you know, did you understand how to insert the table checkpoint? Testing the web application. Okay. Yes. The ones that we discussed are. The page checkpoint. Okay, Anita, I did not go fast. Okay, basically. I did it three times, okay? 
Yeah, and because it got closed, I had to reopen and repeat the steps. So we have the page checkpoint, okay, which is going to check the page properties. For example, how much time it is taking to load and then the number of images that are present on the page and then the number of links that are present on the page. Accessibility checkpoint means now you take any web application, okay, it is supposed to follow some standards, okay. It is supposed to follow certain guidelines which are developed by the W3C, okay. W3C is nothing but world wide web consortium, okay. So this is an association which has developed lot of guidelines and the standards for the development of the website, okay. So they have defined the guidelines or the standards in order to develop the website and all the web developers have to follow these guidelines. In case they are not followed, then the accessibility checkpoint will start giving you the error. And I can give you some examples over here. Now you can consider this application, okay, that we had opened. Do you see here we have the salary calculator, right? Okay. So here there are different frames. Frames are nothing but the sections. Do you see this is one section and on the right side you have another section. There are, you know, different sections on this page, correct? Here there is another section. So all these sections basically should be given a title. Okay, if the title is not given, then that is against the guideline. Alright, and all the images should have the alternate text tag. So there are certain guidelines which are given to the web developers by this World Wide Web Consortium. This is an association. Okay, and if the developer has not followed it, the accessibility checkpoint starts giving the error on that page. Okay, and if you have to like, you know, understand more about this, you got to visit w 3 Org. So if you visit the site, then there are lot of guidelines which are for the developer. Okay, maybe you do not understand much over there because it is all the developer stuff. But if you are interested, you can visit the site. Alright, and then we have the table checkpoint which is going to check the contents of the table or the data values of the table. Okay, so these are the different values that will be checked by the checkpoint. The last one is the database checkpoint which we will be practicing. Is this clear everybody this much? If it's not clear that is fine, okay. Like I said, you checkpoints, you know, they are not used in the real time. But since it is one of the feature, you know, we got to learn it. Okay, Lavanya bitmap and image checkpoint, they are basically inserted on the image, okay. Then the last one is the database checkpoint. Let's go for the database checkpoint. It is again simple. So basically now what we did, we were checking directly on the application, correct? There is the application and we are checking the data from the application. But now what we are going to do is, we will be putting the checkpoint directly on the application. Sorry, directly on the data. Let me, you know, bring back my record and run settings to the original things, okay. It should be done by uh, the developer Prima, okay. Oh, validation you are asking, okay. See, uh, basically you will be validating only in the front end, okay, but that coding and all you will not validate, it will be validated by the developer, okay. Okay, Ritu, see, image and bitmap checkpoint, these are not like, you know, much important, but since you are asking, I will tell you, image checkpoint is similar to your text checkpoint, wherein the entire image is captured. Bitmap checkpoint is basically like a text So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. 
you will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class the demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information if you still have more questions please feel free to call us call us at 770 Seven 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 one two six nine. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at zero two zero three three seven one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.